In this video, we're going to unbox the latest addition to my collection. So welcome back to the channel everyone. My name's Mark Littler. I'm a whiskey broker, whiskey consultant, whiskey market analyst. And if you've got looking to buy, sell or invest, head over to marklittler.com. We've got loads of resources there. And in this video, we're gonna do something that I'm quite excited to do. We've got a big cardboard box that we're gonna unbox and it's the newest addition to my collection. So anyone who can jump in the comments at this point and correctly guesses it, big pat on the back and maybe a few drums will be sent out to you. But again, we're limited in space here. We need quite a bit of space to unpack the bottles that are in here. So let's go to a different location and see what we can find. There we go. We're in a very white room. While we're in the right room, we need more space because we've got a box. And this is a bottle that I've bought. This is just for my collection. And I just wanted you to be here to unbox it because I absolutely love it. So pretty innocuous brown cardboard box. So let's get into it and see what we've got. Boom. So here we go, who's ready? Well, first of all, we've got some Whiskey World chocolate mints, I assume. So we bought these at retail. And yeah, nice load of chocolates. <laughs> some celebration flags which will be pretty apt because hopefully in a moment of time so we can see what we've got in here. I love the packaging and then now let's get into the bottles. So we've got two bottles with this one. So let's go for this one first. If you're ever doing bubble wrap, these bubble boxes just always pop them. Unless your bottle can easily slide out. And then this is sort of like a growing trend as well to double bag the bottles because if one of them fails in transit, you've always got a backup. So there is the first bottle. I'm actually leave it lying down there. Anyone guess what it is yet? If you've seen our last video, you should know. Let's get this out. Just one more of these there, that to go. There's the other bottle. Here's the invoice as well. There we go. All good. So we'll put that down there. And let's get into it. So we've got the first bottle here. And the second bottle here. And as you probably already know that this is the McCallum coronation and we went through the history of all of the royal marriages back or McCallum royal marriages we went through all the McCallum royal releases in our last video now this one is one that particularly interested me for several reasons one I really like the packaging and the bottling the fact that you get two bottles the wax sealed but also for this box. Now, this box was designed by David Holmes. Without David Holmes, we would not have McCallum. Categorically, McCallum wouldn't be where they are today if it wasn't for David Holmes. And he designed this presentation set. So in here, you've got this lovely box, beautifully designed. And then inside here, we've got a presentation form here. And this tells you all about the two portraits by Cecil Beaton there and Jul Julian Coulter. So you've got your portrait there by Cecil Beaton. That was the first one when she was, uh, went onto the crowd, crown and then this is the official portrait by Julian Calder uh, at the time of the celebration. And these are reflected on the labels as well. They're only 350 ml bottles. One's ca uh, both a cask strength and both. One's a sherry cask as well and then one's a bourbon cask. And they go quite nicely into this presentation case as well. So there you go. So some of you may be wondering, why have I bought this from a retailer rather than buying it at auction? Because why, why would you buy a retail? Well, the reality is with this one is that this, this bottle, the way that the price is moving, 
If I joined in the next auction, you know, they've gone from about two and a half thousand to four and a half thousand pounds, and I paid six thousand pounds retail for this. The last one that sold at auction was for just five thousand two hundred pounds. I'd on your commission, I'd on your shipping and everything, you just over the six thousand, just under the six thousand pounds. So yes, you may say that I've overpaid for this bottle, but in the scheme of things, I'm intending to hold this for the next five, 10, 15 years or so. I'm hoping that in that period of time, the game you know, will have changed and this bottle will be worth considerably more than I've originally paid for it. So yes, I've done that awful thing as a whiskey collector and I bought it for my collection. I've got no interest in drinking this. I can't afford to drink it, but I can afford to appreciate it and, and, and take it for what a good bottle that it is. So there we have it. It's the newest bottle for my collection. And do you think I'm mad buying whiskey retail? Do you only buy at auction or do you buy at retail as well and think, you know, the way the speed of this market's changing, you may as well. So any questions or comments, get them down below. Have a good weekend.